welcome to the lecture series of basic electrical engineering subject code is ECE 101 today in this video I will tell you about the star delta transformation how we convert star circuit into the delta and how we convert delta into a star first of all when we are having a triangular shaped circuit that is known as delta circuit in which we are having a, B and C, th uh, C, three terminals and between A and B we are having the resistance R, A, B, between A and C we are having the resistance R, A, C and between the B and C we are having the resistance R, B, C. This circuit is converted into the star, three points, three terminals A, B and C and this N is the common where the uh, terminal of RA, RB and RC are meeting at a point that is common node. The point connecting with the A is known as uh, resistance A, with B resistance RB, with C resistance RC. So we can convert delta into the star or star into the delta. Where star and delta connections are used? When we are having the series and parallel combinations, the circuit is simple. We are solving the circuit with the help of series and parallel combination. But sometimes we are having the complicated circuits in which series and parallel combinations are not uh, possible, uh, are not uh, vis easily visible. In that cases, we are solving the circuit with the help of star and delta conversion. Uh, in that circuit, we find out the circuit in which we are having the delta connections we convert that delta connection into the star and solve the numerical or we find the star connection in the circuit and convert that into the delta always in star uh, in star that is also known as y connection or in delta we always find the equivalent circuit if we are having the star connection we find its equivalent delta or if we are having the delta connection, we find its equivalent star. So, uh, star and de delta, uh, I am discussing it with one example. We are having pi connections in the circuit. That pi connections are converted into delta connections. So, whenever we find the pi connections in the circuit, we convert it into the delta. How we find out the terminate, terminals? We will make three points in the pi connection A, and A, B and C and we are uh, gives the names to that. The resistance between A and B is resistance R, A, B. Between B and C is R, B, C. Between A and C is resistance R, A, C. Similarly, in delta, the same way. So, if we are having the T connection, T connection like this, in the circuit, we convert the T network into the star network. For example, we are having the three terminals A, B and C. This is resistance R A, resistance R B, resistance R C. When we convert this T into the star, this will become three points A, B and C. This is resistance R A, resistance R B and resistance R C. So this is a nomen, uh, common nomenclature of the delta and uh, star uh, resistances which we generally use in the circuits. So next I will tell you how we convert star into the delta and delta into the star. First we do the delta to star conversion means we are having a delta and we convert it into the star. These are the symbols for delta and for the star. So. First, I draw 
a delta network i draw it bigger one this is my delta network in which i am having a b and c r a b r b c and r a c so in the numerical when we find such type of network the resistance is r a r b sorry r a b r b c and r a c are given and we find it its equivalent equivalent means the star and we know that in star we are having the these resistances a b and c we when we have to do the conversion we fit this circuit into the delta it will become like this fine now this is in this we are doing the delta to star transformation means we are having the resistance values of delta circuit and we are finding out the equivalent star for this the values of r a b r a c and r b c are given to us and we convert this delta circuit into the star circuit the connection as shown in figure and we have to find out the values of r a r b and r c for example we want to find the value of r a in this circuit we are drawing the uh, delta circuit and in inner circuit is our star circuit we have to find out the value of r a the adjacent resistances of r a are this r a b and r a c so we are multiplying r a b and r a c upon the total resistances r a b plus r a c plus r b c similarly r b r b is here the adjacent resistances of r b are r b c and r a b so multiplication of r a b multiplication of r b c upon total resistances plus r b c similarly we can find out r c r c this is r c the adjacent resistances are r b c and r a c so multiplication of r b c and r a c upon total resistance so these are the formulas for delta to star conversion we can write it as equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 in this we are finding one similarity the denominator part is same means the summation of the resistances in all the three formulas the denominator is same so this is how we convert delta into star next we will find out the equivalent of delta uh, means star circuit is given to us and we are finding out its delta equivalent fine means the resistance values of r a r b and r c are given to us we have to find out the value of r a b r b c r a c fine how we find out the values we redraw the circuit this circuit is given to us and we have to convert the circuit into such form means we are having the value of r a r b and r c we have to find out the value of r a r a c and r b c so first let's say r a b how we find this let's write down r a r b 
R C. We'll take the multiplication of these. Multiplication of R A and R B. Then multiplication of R B and R C. Then multiplication of R A and R C. It will become R A R B plus R B C. Sorry, R B R C plus R A R C upon R C. This is the value of R A B. How we will do the cramming of this? First, we write down R A R B and R C. We will take the multiplication of two uh, pairing of two R A and R B. Then R B and R C, then R A and R C, and here you see we are having R A B, which uh, terminal is missing here C. So in the denominator we are having the R C. So in this way we are doing the cramming. Then R we have to find out R B C, R B C. The denominator is same in the case of um, star to delta conversion. It is R A R B plus R B R C plus R A R C upon which terminal is missing A. So it is R A. Fine. Then R A C. R A C same multiplication of the resistance combinations upon here R A A and C are given B is missing so it's R B so in this way we are having three equations one two and three by which we find out the value of uh, delta combination, delta equivalent. So, one thing uh, which we did in this video, we are doing first we did the delta to star conversion and then star to delta conversion. In delta to star conversion, we are having the values like RAB, RBC, RAC these resistance values are given to us but we have to find out r a r b and r c these values we have to find in case of uh, delta to star combination but if we are having star to delta conversion in this case r a r b and r c is given to us and we have to find out the value of R A B, R A C and R B C. So this is how we find out. In the next video we will do the proof of delta to star conversion and star to delta conversion.